Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson on markets. Today, we will be discussing markets and types of markets. The concept of exchange and relationships lead to the concept of a market. A market is the set of actual and potential buyers of a product or service. These buyers share a particular need or want that can be satisfied through exchange and relationship. Market is a mechanism that brings buyers and sellers of a product together. A market consists of a group of organizations and or individuals who have the willingness to buy, the ability to buy, and the authority to buy. For example, when an individual wants to buy a product, he or she is said to have the willingness to buy. When the individual has the money to buy, he or she is said to have the ability to buy. And if that same individual cannot decide to buy because he or she is a minor, then he or she is said to have no authority to buy. Students, now it is time to do some exercises. Form small groups and discuss the concept of a market or markets and give examples in your locality. Students, did you enjoy the discussion? I'm sure you can explain the concept of market. Now let us do the possible answers to the exercise together. A market is a group of buyers who want to buy, who are able to buy, and who are able to decide to buy a product. Examples of markets may include individual consumers, households, wholesalers, retailers, producers, government offices, and institutions. Students, it is possible to say that a market can be small or big. The size of a market depends on the number of people who exhibit the need, 
who have resources to engage in the exchange and are willing to offer these resources in exchange for what they want. Markets can be broadly classified as consumer markets and industrial markets based on the major actors. Consumer markets are those buyers who buy goods and services for the purpose of consumption. Industrial markets are those who buy goods and services not for consumption but for other purposes such as for production of other products, for resale, for facilitating the normal operation of an organization, or for providing services to customers. Students, now let's do some exercises. The exercise would help you identify consumer and industrial markets. Classify the following markets as consumer markets or as industrial markets. Students, did you enjoy the exercise? I'm sure that you've done well. Now let us do the possible answers together. If Sinatou buys 5 kilos of sugar for the next month, or if Atomelaku buys 2 quintals of taif for his family, these are consumer markets, because the goods are purchased for consumption purposes. On the other hand, if Tanker buys a quintal of sugar for resale, or if a farmer buys five quintal 
of urea fertilizer to produce grain or if a textile factory buys cotton for producing garment or if Ethio Telecom buys office supplies the market is industrial market because these goods are used for resale or production not for consumption students now let's see each type of market with examples consumer markets consist of individual buyers who buy goods and services for consumption examples include individual consumers and households industrial markets are those buyers who buy goods and services for the purposes other than consumption examples include producer markets reseller markets government offices and other institutional buyers students now it is time for doing an exercise. Form groups and identify examples of consumer markets and industrial markets in your locality. Students, did you enjoy the discussion? Now let us give the possible answers together. When your family and your neighbors buy items from a kiosk in your village, they are consumer markets. But when the kiosk owner and other retailers buy items from a wholesaler or from a producer, they are industrial markets. 
Students, so far, we have seen examples of consumer and industrial markets. Now let's see the different forms of industrial markets. Producer markets are buyers who purchase products to produce other goods. For example, a textile factory buying quintals of cotton. Reseller market are those buyers who buy goods and services for the purpose of resale, not for consumption. The common examples of reseller markets are wholesalers and retailers. This is a reseller market. This is a place where wholesalers and retailers sell and buy. The other categories of industrial markets are government markets and institutional markets. For example, when all government offices that buy goods and services are government markets and also when a university or universities, churches, mosques, etc. buy goods and services, they are institutional markets. Students, now it is time to practice the last exercise for this lesson. Give examples of each type of industrial markets in your locality. Students, I'm sure that you've listed enough examples. The possible answers may include Producer market Woodworks Metalworks Factories Grain mill houses Etc. Reseller market includes Retail outlets Wholesalers distributors, etc. Government markets include Ministry of Education, the National Bank of Ethiopia, Ethiopian Airlines, etc. Institutional markets include schools, hospitals, universities, etc. Next time, we will be learning about the major marketing functions. Till then, goodbye teacher. 
Goodbye, students. Thank you.